My question is for the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Our government was elected to make Ontario open for business and open for jobs. One of the bedrock industries in Ontario is the aggregate industry, which supplies raw materials needed to build the things we depend on, like our homes, hospitals, schools, and bridges, all while providing thousands of quality, well-paying jobs. I was pleased to see that our government hosted an aggregate summit with the industry on Friday in Bolton, and that we are continuing to reduce red tape and create uh, that creates a burden on industry. Can the minister update the House on the work we are doing to support the development that is beneficial to this sector? Questions to the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Well, thank you very much, uh, Speaker. And I want to thank the member for his question and for his advocacy for open for business, open for jobs. I was pleased that so many of my colleagues were able to join me for that summit, uh, including the Ministry of Community Safety and Correctional Services, my colleague, the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, my parliamentary assistant, Mr. Barrett, and the member from Peter Peterborough Kawartha. We had a pro very productive morning on Friday. We met with industry and municipal and industrial partners to discuss how we can reduce barriers while maintaining our commitment to mani po managing potential impacts from aggregate extraction. Speaker, the previous government built barriers. Our government will always support development that builds our communities as we make Ontario open for business and open for jobs. Supplementary. Thank you to the minister for that answer, Mr. Speaker. I know that my constituents agree with the Ontario Stone, Sand and Gravel Association, who welcome the message from the minister that the province is now open for business. The aggregate industry is, a, is an important driver to our economy and critically important to our quality of life. And we need to continue to reduce barriers that create an environment for growth and a sustainable resource sector. It is important that the industry is able to provide, to provide input as we find solutions that work for everyone. Could the minister update the House on the information taken from the aggregate summit? Minister. Thank you, Speaker. Again, I want to thank the member for his question. As we look at how Ontario manages pits and quarries, we want to work. We want to hear from everyone on, a, on a, how we can improve upon this framework. I invite everyone interest, interested in aggregate reform to submit their comments if they have not done so already. As the member has said, aggregates are the raw materials that help build our schools, our homes, our hospitals, our bridges, and our roads and are the foundation of industries that strengthen our economy and create high-quality, well-paying jobs. What some in this House may not be aware is the environmental leadership shown by the industry as they use innovative techniques to rehabilitate former aggregate sites. I'd like to close by thanking all the attendees at the Aggregate Summit. Our go government values their input as we make Ontario open for business and open for jobs. <laughs> 